And let's move on to the second. So the class five is left behind us uh, from now on and we go into fours and then a group two and then some threes and twos and another group two. Big Fortune gets back to a more desirable distance, I would have thought, here of 1,200 metres. He still ran well last start over the longer trip. Winston's lad finally gets that drop in grey. Quadruple double looks to have come back nice this season. Newcomers, Rich and Lucky by Kingman. Menagio by Written Tycoon. Sparkling Dolphin by Exceed and Excel. Super Alliances by Zacinto. And Vigor Champ by Mossman. They're all on debut. Super 18, Target Finder, Master Albert. And Irish Vega has his first start for the new yard of Casper Founds. Now, Super Alliances, the son of Zacinto, has been the only horse in this race at Chunfar leading in. How does this unfold with all this unknown speed, possibly? A lot of unknowns, so there could be a, a high degree of variance here to this uh, speed map. Yi Chun Blitz has got that wide draw of 14, but we know he can get out and get rolling forward. Big Fortune showing pace in his run. Sparkling Dolphin in his uh, trials are showing a little. That means quadruple double from gate number one. Should get the perfect sit behind the, the leading few there. Super Alliances, he's been going OK at the trials. Uh, Judy Starr, who's coming out of Griffin Races, has got gate number nine, so he'll have to slot in somewhere. Recent trial winners, uh, Yishin Blitz, and you can see he goes nicely here. He's really keen to get on with it. He's drawn wide, so you saw on that speed map he went forward, uh, or likely to go forward, Joe Marrera board. But uh, look, the horse is going really well at the moment. He's now with Jimmy Ting. And the other one, I thought I'd show one of the first start starters, that's Menaggio down the back straight here. And now he's the one closest to us in the blue saddle cloth. He's just working with uh, a horse who's had a few starts now, Cam Becky Molly, but I thought his, his run down the back was OK. He's had a bit of an issue. A fractured mandible mm. has uh, Menaggio. He's 967 some, pounds, so he's not the biggest. Some part of their jaw, I think. Yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. So uh, never a good thing, you wouldn't think. Big Fortune. Ran really well for the Douglas White Stable first up. Got the cash. And uh, that was under the guidance of Alberto Santa. Then they went to 1,400. He ran well. Ezra had too much for him in the end, along with one other. Now he's back to the 12 and the £10 claim on it. Looks a good combo. Yeah, I think he'll certainly be suited again here over 1,200 metres, better than what he was over 1,400 metres. They'll go forward definitely with the apprentice on. That's Ezra uh, racing on by. And uh, it was an, a good enough run from RC. They've added the crossover noseband as well, but he seems to be in good, some, good, some good form at the moment. Yeah, and I think, yeah, the apprentice claim is going to be good. He looks like uncomplicated. Mm. Just how much... Um, Right, just how much pressure he gets. Maybe if he's going to get company company coming across. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, quadruple double's not a slow horse either. No. We know he sat outside of the race favourite, super winner, who folded up fairly tamely, and he went on with the job quite nicely and in good time. Last season, he was definitely a little weaker, I think, than what he has suggested this season on the basis of this run alone. Yeah, no, it was a really good run, and, and he maps really well from barrier one. He should just sit him behind the pace. So, uh, look, I think he's a definite chance. I don't know whether he got flattered by the quickness of Super Winner dropping out mm. because we know last season he was a speed horse and he, he just sort of hold his ground, but he, he looks stronger there. Yeah, I, I've liked what he's done so yeah. far and he, if, if there wasn't that other speed in the race, he'd be probably an alternate pace angle in the race with mm. his profile, but he's going to get that lovely suck into the race. Yeah, I think they'll take the little cushy sit if they can. Judy Starr uh, looked a nice enough Griffin going forward. There was a run or two from Target Finder that were OK, but Judy Starr definitely looked probably the pick from the Griffin days. He's had uh, two trials coming into this. A uh, seventh, uh, a third behind Fuller Beauty. Zach was on board for the, the third behind Fuller Beauty. He wasn't on board in the recent trial. He's been gelded since uh, this last uh, start, going back to the, the 7th of July. He was caught three wide, momentarily hit the front, but uh, in the end, box on relatively well behind uh, far above. Thought the trials have been good leading into this. Yeah, I agree as well. I've found a place for him. I think he, he can run nicely. And uh, the gelding, I think, is a good thing for the sort. All right. Well, Yeshu and Blitz did have a few issues at the back end of last season, but he's had plenty of time to recover. He's worked and trial well leading in. Let's hear from his jockey, Joe Marrera, talking to Edward Sadler. In fact, Tom Wood, I believe. <laughs> Joe, you shouldn't blitz uh, coming into this race for the first time this season. Uh, how have you uh, assessed his recent barrier trials? His trial actually has been very good. Um, he's been... I actually have been asked by Jimmy to just give him some easy time out there. And the field that he gave me is, was actually pretty good, so I'm quite excited about him. He's shown some pace. Um, what does gate 14 look like? Quite testing. Quite difficult. But... Even if it is difficult, we are going to deal with it the best we can. 1,200 metres, he's done all his racing over 1,200 metres. Is that his limitation or he might get up a little bit further maybe? Yeah, I actually think maybe down the road, Jim is going to be stepping him up to 14, maybe even a mile. But for the time being, as he's quite fresh and he's been trialling very well over the 12, I think we should stick with that. And um, what I can say about him, he's a very nice young horse. 
he's speaking up, his form is there, he's been running good races, finishing very close from the winners and some nice horses. So if he just bring that kind of form, he's even from the widest gate, he's, he's a winning chance. All right, so that's uh, the rundown from Joe. What sort of feeling did you get on the morning, Tom? I think he's a, a strong chance. It's just going to be that um, that gate 14, which is not going to be easy. How much work he's going to have to do there to mm. uh, get there forward, because he's going to have a, that other horse up there, which is um, big fortune. They'll roll along in front. You probably won't want to put too much pressure in. No. Some nice form behind him, though, Paul. Silver Fig Easter. Yeah, really, really good form behind him. I've, I've got him in there. I think he'll run all right. All right, of the newcomers, let's have a look at Menagio, who is the four-year-old by Written Tycoon. Ricky Yu, we know he can get a good youngster. Alberto Santa to take the ride. Yeah, not the biggest horse, 967 pounds. He's had the two trolls. He's one of them now. I just He's missed the start. And, and both trials, and he's just been a little bit green. But he's, he's got some natural ability there. It was $100,000 out of the Magic Million yearling sale. He had three trials in New Zealand for a couple of wins and a second placing. He's trialled OK. Uh, Sparkling Dolphins trialled OK as well. And Super Alliances, uh, John Size and Umberto Rispoli mm. teaming up. He's had a few OK trials. We couldn't show them all, but, um, yeah, he's trialled OK too. Yeah, he won his most recent trial up at Chun for Super Alliances. We'll get the rundown from Jenny on the newcomers. Uh, trackside, but let's get the tips firstly, Paul. Uh, you've always been a Winston man. I get the feeling Winston might be in the tips this time. Yeah, he's on top, uh, Winston's lad. He sort of had a red flashing light on his last couple of starts. He's now been downgraded. His last win was off 75 last season, and he's now down to a rating of 60, and he's running really well. So I just think he's going to get the race run to suit with his pace, and he, this will be his day. So he's on top. I like him in this race. Quadruple double with a really nice run in behind. Uh, Yish and Blitz, he should just be sitting outside the leader, and he seems to be going really well for uh, Jimmy Ting and uh, Judy Starr with the gelding uh, coming up, and that good trial we saw. Two, three, six, and five, but like the two. I'm going to go with the last start uh, winner again, quadruple double for uh, David Hall, Blake Shin, gate one. I think everything uh, should pan out nicely for him down uh, there on the rail, uh, quadruple double. Uh, Judy Starr goes in, uh, a couple of trials coming into this, has shown ability, Yi Shun Blitz, and certainly Winston Ladd uh, gets a nod in there as well. So we're three, five, six and two. Yeah, I worked around those horses up the top as well. I think quadruple doubles come back quite nice this prep, so I'll, uh, I'll go with him there in the second.